Hey everyone, it's Dry. Hello. I had to start a video again because the cat came in and was distracted and so much fucking happened. Uh. So we're trying to get weapon licenses, right? And let's just say I did not do good in the last battles when I was playing with this thing. I was doing, uh, shit. I was absolutely doing shit. It was not good. I was doing trash. I, I'm gonna be real. I was kind of doing trash. Uh, it was not going well. I feel like I waste more time sleeping now than I do when I'm awake. Cause oh my god, I used to have so much time. I used to fucking be able to do three sessions a day. I was able to have enough time to watch videos. I was able to do a lot of stuff. And now I feel like because I've been sleeping in more, my time is limited. But to be fair, at least I'm getting enough sleep, but it's not helping because I'm missing fucking therapist appointments and I gotta keep calling to get a new one every single fucking time because I keep fucking missing it, so I'm trying to get a better fucking schedule. It's not working. It's a fucking mess. It's, it's just a mess. I, I should have I should stuck with the way I was. Why the fuck did I do 2 a.m.? No, it's just because back then it was so busy. I mean, Joe were usually always there for like 2 a.m. at night because Dad would always. Well, now he can't barely be there anymore considering they're respecting my father because he's aging. So. This probably, uh, with me and my father aging and my sleep schedule. This probably why this also, uh, I also have to talk about why I'm not gonna use a laptop. Like why I'm hesitant to start editing and whatever else. If you all don't know, and I've probably said this multiple times, it's like, oh, dry, that's an excuse. No, it's not. The whole reason I'm able to do this and I'm able to record, and Joe can attest, we promised our parents that this wouldn't be a job, that this wouldn't be a thing we focus on. That this would be a hobby, and hobby only. That means... And it's like, well, you, that doesn't mean you can learn fucking computers wherever else. Guys, the whole fucking reason my parents were delighted to even see me go to the restaurant business in the fucking first place was because they were trying to get, get me, like, get, me, get us away from the fucking screens in the goddamn first place, because... My cousins are all tech whizzes, and they want at least, at least, you know, a few of the next generation of renters to not be fucking tech wizards. My father wanted me to be a blue-collar worker like him, and, well, I am, and I've learned I'm not a tech whiz. Dude, probably my least favorite memory had to be involved, like, back when I was doing the early channel, when I was doing college, involved computers. You guys seen the first year. I was fucking miserable. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do essays. I didn't want to do that. But I have said in a lot of videos, I'm not burying it, I have said, someday. But it is going to take a hot minute. It's going to take a while to convince me to do it. Because I'm stubborn and... I have previous residue of not accepting change. It takes a while for me to accept something changing. Uh, it's just how I am. Uh, imagine when you're 10 and you're forced to move fucking twice in your life and you're forced to leave friends. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Probably there was this one day when we were moving and mom pretty much told me 
like that he was pretty much starting a temper tantrum at one point because he wouldn't, he didn't want to do anything, and he was supposed to help me lift up this fucking desk that he right. had. And Cut. I'm like, Zach, come on, help me. And he's still arguing with mom. And then I'm like, I got so mad. I'm like, fuck it. So I pick up the whole desk and load it into the truck. To be fair. And then Zach, and then Zach shows up. He's like, you need help? I'm like, I'm like, just get the fuck away from me, dude. You're going to piss me off. We were moving. You guys getting, di- uh, we did not eat breakfast that day. Well, Zach, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Joe. It doesn't matter if you eat breakfast or not. <laughs> I understand you were hungry, but sometimes you just gotta do it. I was very fucking hangry. I was very dehydrated. <laughs> yeah, but all of us didn't eat yet, and we were doing it. We were moving, so... I, I understand that. And she said we were gonna get food afterwards. <laughs> but he refused to do anything. Oh, because it was fucking moody. Yeah. She said you might Without have been food. on the floor slamming your fist on the ground. If I don't have food, my body throws a fucking temper tantrum. That's how it is. Okay. Like, hell, I do get more moody if I do not have food in my system. Yeah, Zach was miserable throughout that whole move, and then afterwards, for about a month after the move, he was just miserable too. So he made me miserable. <laughs> and then finally, he got his shit together. <laughs> Wasn't I like silent? No, you were like you were like just always pissed off. Like, anything I talk to you about will get you triggered, and I just get upset. So I just wanted to be left alone. Yeah. But you didn't leave me alone. Because <laughs> you hate being alone. I know, know that now. You hate being alone. But I'm your, I'm your fucking opposite. <laughs> yeah. I'm your polar opposite. Yeah. You I, s- I know that now, that you need to be left alone sometimes. That's why you want to be left alone, I either don't talk to you, or I leave the room. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was throwing this habitat because I was fucking hungry. And I was already stressed out. To be fair, in my mind, I was stressed out because I was like, oh god, I can't do my fucking homework because I have to fucking move. And Yeah, but the teachers gave us the okay because we knew they knew. No, I was just fucking stressed out. I wasn't able to do shit. And I was pissed off at that guy. There was just so many factors of me getting pissed off. I remember you guys had to pick me up from school half the time to, to move. So we had to explain to my bus company that, like, yeah, they're gonna be picking me up some days. <laughs> I was like, did we tell you about the one time me and dad were opening up the place so that we could start moving stuff into the, the house? That a Canadian geese showed up in front of the driveway. <laughs> and like, was at, right at dad's door. And I'm like, and dad, I was about to open the door. Dad's like, Zach, he's like, Joe, don't open your door yet. I'm like, why? And he's like. And then I see it and I'm like, oh shit. And it looks pissed off. And dad's like, dude, just, you just go ahead of me, open the door and then close it. 
I'm like, why? He's like, it's gonna fucking bite us. <laughs> Because it was just angry. I probably wouldn't have given a shit. I would have fought back. <laughs> Dad's just like, dude, just go into the house and open the door, and then when I get in the house, shut the fucking door. I probably would have... Because the second as soon as we got out, it started chasing us. For, for animals like that, <laughs> I would have glared that thing down as well. I would have just went... Zach, it wouldn't have mattered. It was chasing us. It was pissed. For no reason. It was probably trying to make a nest in there. But it didn't in the know driveway? He... In the middle of the fucking driveway? Well, it was pro probably trying to take a piss. I don't know, take a shit. Who knows what was going on with that animal? He was probably <laughs> hungry. He was probably trying to make a nest. He was probably pissed. He thought the place wasn't going to like be inhabited by humans. Oh, he he probably that thought is. it was good. He probably thought it was good, and then these fucking <laughs> humans start showing up, and he's like, oh, what the fuck? I like how when a Canadian geese showed up, I was able to do the task, and that thing kept fucking staring me down. And that geese didn't even do anything to me. He was probably, that geese was probably just astonished that I had the balls to walk even though he knew he I was there. He probably realized I was a pussy so he wanted to torture me. That guy realized I did not care. And he was like, oh shit, he does not care. He realized I had a fear of birds so he's like, oh hey, I want to take advantage of this. He probably saw the same guy he's like, oh shit. Wait, wait, wait a minute. It's not scared anymore? Oh, shit. Cool. ever going to go off? I don't know. What the fuck does it matter? The ink mines don't even go off. Like, they only go off when, like, ink is splattered. The guys just have like, a good fucking business. What the fuck does it matter? That guy's got the scouter! Well, that was not a fun game. Hey, Vegeta! Go see you guys in the next one. <laughs>